Now, there was a woman here the other night, and she said, uh, Walter, you're making a bad mistake that you don't write down all you know about the old times. Well, I said, now for why? Just for why? Who cares? Nobody cares, do you? Oh, well, I'm, I'm somewhere, I feel that, <laughs> why well, you do too, that uh, there's a number of people that don't care, but the majority of people don't care, but there is a sufficient number who do care that I think it's essential that, uh, yeah. very important. That and it, it, might, it might be, uh, too, that the don't care days are about over. You know, people well, have got to do something soon. I think that there's a great realization of this, that yeah. we we're very quickly passing through an era, and uh, yeah. if we don't record it, it's going to be lost forever. We've just got the remnants now. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I know, people come from all over asking me about things, you know. I, I, I got quite a, a drilling in the history, listening to the old man. Mm -hmm. As a child, and, and my son is the same, he listened to the old people. And his oldest son is the same again, he loves talking to old people. And uh, if, you, if you learn how to ask questions, you, you get quite an education. That's quite true. Um, I read an article when I was a boy, and it said, you have two ears and one mouth, and use them in that proportion. I told that to the foreman that built that bridge there two years ago, Scotchman, brought up in Edinburgh or Glasgow. And uh, he's out here 10 or 12 years. I, I told him about that uh, little saying. And he said, aye. He said, they have a saying in Scotland, that you can hear better with your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I better not keep you away well, from Well, I'm not here. awful busy. I... Well, I wish I could give you more information about your great-grandpa, yes, be your great-grandfather, eh? Well, yes, my great-grandfather. Yeah, that's right. I'm very interested in anything in this uh, uh, country, too. In this country. Yeah, yeah. well, I oh. could keep on talking about chanting and uh, stuff, well, you know, for the dark, I suppose. I had a, quite an experience in chanting. Yeah. The little in that big high dam down below the black dawn. If I right. live below that, I know about Is that right? Well, the building at 100 feet. Yeah, it's more than 100. Uh, yeah. 160 some feet, I believe. Oh my God, if that ever collapses around everything right down oh, there. Oh, gosh, you'd go right through past Calabogie, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, I guess they'll build it pretty strong, though. It's certainly making a, this dam down at uh, Black Dawn, it's making a big difference up through Matawatch, and it's flooding a lot of area up through there. They got it. It hasn't flooded it yet, but they're clearing the land out there now. Oh, yeah. Well, they're clearing it, eh? Yeah. And, uh, they say it's going to come up above the Coltons. Oh, yes. There'll be... The Coltons will completely disappear on the Wolf Rapids, and it'll back up water right up to the Griffith Bridge there. Oh. The water comes right up between... Uh, do you know where Barney Snyder, the old strong place... Yes, I do. ...and uh, the old Kelly place? Yeah. The valley that runs in there? Yeah. Right back up in there. It does, yeah. That's a lot of water. And what, what advantage are they going to have holding it back? Well, I guess they're going to put some pretty big powerhouses down there, and then they'll, they need that water then for uh, on the slack periods, say, when in yeah. the summer and fall, when they don't have the, uh, the rain. Mm -hmm. well.